Hey guys, and welcome back to Rad Resells. I'm Natalie, and I'm a full-time reseller. And this video is about men's jeans brand that have high value and a high sell threat that you should definitely be on the lookout for in terms of reselling. I got tons of goodies for you, so let's just get into the video. So like I just mentioned, these jeans brands have a high sell through rate and a high value. So that means a lot of dollars for your buck and they're fast sellers. First, I'm just quickly going to go over what is a sell through rate and how do you calculate it? Because that's one of the main things that you should know as a reseller. I was guilty of not even giving this a second thought, not even knowing about it when I first started reselling. And I think it six months went by before I actually realized sell three was a thing and it affected sales. Hmm. So here is a direct definition of what a sell through rate is. STR for short. A sell through rate measures the percentage of inventory sold relative to the amount of inventory received from manufacturers during the same period. Here's a close up of the sell through rate formula. Don't be freaked out by this. So it's the quantity of products sold that month divided by the quantity on hand at the start of the month. And then you times that by 100 to get the percentage, which is essentially the sell through rate. Based on this formula, you can see that the sell through rate cannot, by definition, be over 100%. Why? Well, you can't sell more than what you have. So if you have 75 items, like the example shows here, you can't sell more than 75 items. It's impossible. However, most resellers, including us, often talk about a sell through rate that is higher than 100%. And that's because we use a more simplified and uh, inaccurate version of the sell through rate. This is the inaccurate sell through rate formula that 99% of resellers do. They take the number of sold listings, in this case it's 647 results, and divide that by the number of available listings, which in this case, when you take off the sold filter, it's 213. So it will be 647 divided by 213 times 100, which is 303%. Again, impossible. I would say most resellers use this incorrect way of getting the sell through rate because one, they might just not know any better because they've been taught this incorrectly by others, or two, it's a way quicker and easier formula. And ultimately, it's useful in determining the likelihood of something selling and just gauging how long it should take for it to sell, although it's clearly inflated. For those interested, a much more correct eBay sell through rate formula would be this. Sold listings divided by the total of available listings plus sold listings plus unsold listings and then times 100 to get the percentage. As you can see, this one's more complicated, more steps, more calculations, more time, which is why most resellers stick with this simplified version of it. All right, now over to some Bolo jeans brands for men that you should be in look up for that have a high sell through rate and a high value. And you know how I like to start off and I'm starting off hot. First up is the Muggsy jeans. And what shows up here are all the available listings. All right, so looking pretty solid here, around $40, 45, even 50. Now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit sold items. Now all the sold listings are popping up. And looking at the value, it's a decent value as well. It's around $40, we got 50, 42, 50 took an offer, 40, 50, 40, 44, 50. Another 20 here. I hope something was wrong with these jeans because 20 is way too low for this brand. Do not sell it for $20 unless there's something seriously wrong with the jeans. Here's a little close up of how the Muggsy brand logo looks like. Moving on to the next brand, we got Brave Star jeans. So, as you can see with the Brave Star high value, 50, 75, took an offer from 90. 50, 50, just gonna randomly click on one just to show you the brand tag right here. What I love about this brand is that it's very easy to memorize and to spot out in the wild because this brand tag is kind of like, boom, here I am. They also have the embroidered star on the back pocket. Here is also the back tag. Next up, we got Hiroshi Kato jeans. This is another high value 
brand as you can see the available listings are really high even in the hundreds but let's go down to the sole listings ultimately that's what we're interested in and uh, this person messed up <laughs> 26 dollars looking at the other comps you should be getting a lot more as you can see 60 dollars um these took offers from over 100 dollars Here's $40, $68, $65. Here they got over $100. So another great brand to be on the lookout for. Let's just click on one to see the little tag. So another leather patch with... <laughs> it's not even in order. If I was to see this for the first time, I'd be like, okay, K-T-O-A. But it's Kato. Here's the tag. Next up, we got Dewar jeans. Dewar? Dewar jeans? Another pretty plain pair of brand here. You can see there's not really a lot of embroidery or design or stitching going on. They're just high quality pair of jeans and you should get $35, $45 for these. There's the uh, upside down tag, <laughs> Dewar. And here's another uh, upside down <laughs> picture of the back tag. It, it says their brand. DU slash ER doer. Next, I want to talk about a brand that is a lot more common to find than the ones I've already mentioned that have a way smaller market. That means less competition, but also less people looking for it, essentially. This is a brand that there are a lot of listings for, and it's Area, and their jeans are solid. Not worth as much as some of the other brands that I mentioned, but still pick up on site type of value and sell through it here. It's more in the... Um, $35 area, I would say. You can see some lower as well. It does depend on the actual model. you got 5.4, 5.2, 5.3, flame resistant. So they will all have a slightly different sell rate and value, but most of the area jeans, you should at least get 25, but for some, you can get more, 35, $40. Next up, we got Todd Snyder jeans and uh, these, as you can see, have a higher value as well. We're looking at the 50s and 60s, but we want to look at the sole comps. And you should get around $45. This one sold for $85. That seems a bit high compared to the rest. So another great value brand to be on the lookout for. There's the brand tag. Todd Snyder literally just says it. And here's the back tag. That's their little logo, the ST. Next up, we've got Jenko jeans. If you can find the vintage ones and they're baggy, we are talking money. Let's just look at some of these comps. $475? That seems like a bit of an outlier to me, but yeah, you can, depending on the actual design on these, the style, you want to look for a lot of embroidery. You want to look for baggy, loose fit. That's super in right now, super trendy. They range a lot in, in terms of value. Honestly, if you find other baggy jeans that have a similar style to Jenko, such as South Pole, such as Five Jungle, you can have Jenko in the um, title or description, or do like Jenko style, just to increase your uh, SEO a little bit. Look how plain these are though. $250. This is how one of their logos look like. Janko jeans still exist today, so just because you find one doesn't mean that it's vintage, by the way. Then we have Interstate Jeans. Interstate Jeans, another high value item here, but it's again a smaller market, so they're not that common to come by. As you can see, the value, it's 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 a high value. Most of them, 85, 35 for that plain one, 130 for that one, 65, 86, 60. Great value on these. Even the plain ones with basically nothing on them are selling for a lot. Let's just look at this one because I saw their logo right here. I S and the uh, little here is the brand tag. Interstate made in the USA. Next up, we got Sid Mashburn jeans. Another kind of on the plainer side type of jeans brand. As you can see here, it's just one color and they go for $60, $70, $60. That's their brand tag. It says Sid Mashburn. Another high value one that I think a lot of you have heard of, but coming across their jeans, it's, it's, you're lucky if you do. It's Laurel Piana, super high value brand here. I mean, the quality and the value is insane on these. Let's just hit the used. 
their jeans 123 $100 $50 with the bidding 130 60 I hope so. oh I was gonna say I hope something's wrong with this one and then it says flaw <laughs> and that's why they only got $36 as you can see another high value brand plain looking jeans here let's look at the tag here it says Laurel Piana Next up, we have unbranded brand jeans. And yes, you heard me right, unbranded brand. This brand is kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know if they have the best marketing strategy or the worst, but I'll let you know when I show you. Let's just click on one. But as you can see, the value here, 40 to $70. The back tag is nothing. It's unbranded. <laughs> Literally nothing going on there. So if you just, if you don't know the brand and you see a blank back patch, you're like, okay, what is this? It's the unbranded brand uh, and they don't brand their back patch. As for their logo, you can see the UB right here. That's for the unbranded brand. And uh, I think they're just being a little bit funny with the whole not branding themselves while branding themselves. Another brand to be on the lookout for is the Solo Jeans. Pre-owned ones are selling for $60, $40, $60. Ooh, that was cool with the little skull, $70. As you can see, if it has something on it, this is common for most brands. If it has something on it, it's worth more compared to just being plain. And this is their back logo. Look for Solo. Next up, we got Brunello Cuccinelli Jeans. This is another super high value item, but the odds of coming across this brand, it's just slim because it's not a high market at all. So it is rare to come by this brand, have not been lucky enough to do so, but it's definitely on my little list of what I want to come by. As you can see, most of them are going for over a hundred dollars. Here is the little tag, oh, Brunello Cuccinelli made in italy if you didn't figure that out by the name so these plain jeans sold for 145 dollars we always say different sells but <laughs> plain does too <laughs> you just gotta know the brands next up we got 316 jeans and it's spelled the digit three and then you spell out with letters 16. so 316 jeans another high value brand let's go to used and uh yeah should 50 to 100 dollars this person messed up with the 20 dollars this is their little back patch and there right here right there is the 316. all right next we have a little different one this is called the valabasis jeans and one of their things is just being different as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on different designs they're not plain whatsoever but let's just look at the sold listings here as you can see the style is I, I guess I would call this street style they got distress they got cargo pockets they got different type of pattern on them so a lot going on value ranges are uh, somewhat a lot <laughs> you got the cargo pockets you got army with cheetah print i don't even know what to call that and their flair here's the brand tag valabasas valabasas and uh, i mean these are pretty easy to spot in the thrift you can't really miss them if you see them but <laughs> there's a lot of cheap brands that are trying to go for this look don't pick them up and they may look the same the quality is not the same the value is not the same. Next up that we have found multiple times and it's sold multiple times is Ma and Bo. And uh, these should, why are all of them accepting offers? What are the odds of that? <laughs> but you should be getting around 30 to $40 for these, as you can see here. And they are very plain, just kind of more classical looking, nothing crazy going on, but they're just a good material, good quality. The last one that I wanted to talk about is a brand that I honestly don't think I will ever come across. It is Chrome 
parts. They are known for having some crosses design in one way or another. Oh, hold on. Let me just click on the pre-owned. They are selling for $180, $152. This one took an offer from $100. Hold on. Let me just show you guys. Chrome parts. So here I just searched Chrome Hearts jeans and just to uh, show you a point that I made earlier about cheaper brands are trying to mimic more expensive brands but it's not the same but I mean if you don't care about the quality or maybe how it feels on you you can make it look like you're wearing something more expensive I guess Chrome Heart jeans so here's one on Grail for $32,000 but um, $16,000 on StockX but we got $22 or $21 on Shein. We got $39 on Amazon. <laughs> and I would definitely take my time researching that pair of jeans to make sure you have every word you need in order to find how much that one is valued at. Because imagine getting $150 when it could have been $9,000. All right, guys, that sums up today's video about jeans brands to be on the lookout for for men, high sell through rate, high value. Some of them definitely more easy to come by than others. Some are very rare to come by. If you do come by some of the rare ones, lucky you. But all right, guys, I know this was a slightly different type of video than what we usually do. The thrift stores have not been very kind to us lately, so the thrift finds have kind of been uh -uh. And so here I am making a different video where I don't have to go thrifting <laughs> because I can't find anything. Anyways, let me know if you enjoy this type of content where I just share more other things than just thrifting. And if you have any recommendations on what you want to see, what you want to learn, definitely let me know in the comments. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It